Welcome to my life on paper. I am Brianna and welcome to Mad About Mini Paper Pads where we all use our smaller paper pads, smaller than a 12 by 12, to make a layout. I'm also playing along this month with Baby Got Scraps where we can only take one 12 by 12, kind of like our Mad About Mini Paper Pads, and the rest have to be scraps. And then uh, this is a sketch I'm using for Scrap a Sketch. It is not part of the December a sketch fest, but it is from the Scrap a Sketch website, uh, Facebook group. I'll have that information linked below. Here is my photo of my family at Summerfest in Milwaukee this past summer. You will see that I will take out scraps from that six by six paper pad and make those little rectangles uh, that are on the sketch. Um, I am carefully looking for the colors that I want to use. I start first by getting three of each pattern, three rectangles of each pattern. Um, and I didn't know how that was going to work, so I'm kind of just starting to lay things out. So um, as I'm trimming up this um, pattern paper, I know that, uh, one, that it's going to go directionally one way, and with the other two pieces it'll go directionally the other way but I'm it didn't bother me so I was okay with that this paper pad is by Colorbach it is called Carnival there's a hundred sheets at six by six and I love it I um, if you've watched my channel before you will know that I love bright colors and so um, this makes me really happy so I cut like I said I will cut out I think is it three one, two, three, I think four different patterns, um, three of the rectangles for each one. So that gives me 12, three, six, no, it doesn't. Maybe I only started with three patterns. <laughs> yeah, I had three patterns and I did three different rectangles, which gives me nine. And if you'll notice in the sketch, there are 12. So I lay them out and I go, ooh, I would like one more. No, I didn't do one more of each pattern. I ended up um, getting another pattern and going from there. So I that orange paper I really like. I had one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I had one, only one of those, and I don't end up using it. Um, and it's funny because looking at the layout now, there are two pieces you barely see are even in there. But anyway, it's a good way to get scraps used up. So um, make sure you check out Scrap a Sketch, the Facebook group, if you haven't already. Um, Lisa Sikorsky puts out sketches all the time. Ooh, you can see I made a couple too short. I have to go make them some more. Um, and they're so easy to use with any kind of theme that you're, that you're, go, you're using. Um, you can use different photos than what she shows. It's, they're very super easy to use. Um, so I will link that below. And then as far as um, Mad About Mini Paper Pads, I will have a list down below of everybody's playing along. So you will see everybody's, uh, what they do with their mini paper pads. Um, here's to the point where I go, okay, I've got my cute little design. I need one other pad and paper. Which one's going to be? I do choose the circular one. That one's cute too. Uh, that one right there. So I will cut three of those and then I will intersperse them throughout the pattern paper that I already have there. So like I said, this picture was taken at Summerfest. So Summerfest is a big music festival in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And so we went there, we saw Imagine Dragons. Um, there's a big stage and there's a bunch of little stages that even big bands are playing on the little stages. So it's a fun day of music. Um, and we just took this by the lake, then this picture by the lake. So totally fun. Um, here I am trying to make that pattern. There we go. And so it's set. And then I just eyeball this. I don't get out a T-square. I am just going to, um, kind of get them spread out. So where I think it looks good to me. And I will use my ATG to glue them all down then. And then after I get these all glued down, that's when the fun part comes of trying to figure out what um, embellishments that I want to use. And I always love that. It's kind of a challenge. I find it's like a kind of like a jigsaw puzzle where you just want to get just the right pieces into the into the mix of the layout. So 
<laughs> I'm gonna yeah, glue these down with my ATG one one at a time. Thank you to all my viewers. I want to say how much I appreciate you. Thank you for all the comments, the the likes, all of that thing. I'm having such a good time. Be watching in the next two months. I'm gonna try. February is um, sketch follow a sketch February, so I'm gonna try. Um, gosh, I'm gonna try my best to do a, a sketch or a a video every day and then March is 30 days of sketches and that's when I really like to do a sketch a day I usually do really good until the last couple days so we'll see how that goes but that's my goal for for uh, February March we'll see how that goes here I am trying to find something to back that paper or back the photo with a six by six obviously won't cut it because this is a six inch photo and I can't trim it down at all so I go into my um this is a paper pad. This is an eight and a half by 11 paper pad and it's the right colors to back the photo on and it just gives it a little bit of a of a mat to bring those photos in. It makes me happy. So there you go. More color. And then like I said, I, I get that glued down. I'm going to go looking for embellishments. That's the fun part. And just trying to get the pieces of the puzzle all to fit together. Um, I do have some there's flower stickers. I have some um, washi stickers and there's some ephemera that I have in my stash. So those are matching the, the papers as well. Um, the, the big one is going to be my title. It says, follow your dreams. They know the way. Um, and I believe the title is below the photo. Yeah, it is below the photo. And I actually put it up in the upper left corner. Um, it just seemed to fit better there. So I'm looking for all the things that are the right color. And then here are these like washi sticker strips. And I have them, everything that I have, all my embellishments are by color. And so these are all stuck into the multi-color bin. And uh, I'm able to get some of these out to go in their certain color bins. Um, but I use some of them today as well. So I'm going to get these three, uh, banners stuck up in the left upper corner. And then this washi tape, I'm just going to layer down below the picture. So this is a polka dot coral color and the yellow one says always and forever. It says it over and over again. And oh, that's a washi sticker. That's a flower. So that sits there up in the corner. And then this one is white and it says, this is us. And it says that repeat it, repeatedly. And then the next one is another coral design. So that'll go under there. And then <laughs> there's extra strings that could have to get unstuck to that thing. Okay. There's another one that goes after that, that says grateful, thankful, blessed. And then it says it over again. And I thought about layering that on top of the colors, but I just did put it down right down on the white. And then the yellow it has a design, and that should be about the last one. And then I'll also layer some other washi stickers, some words. So I've got a happy that goes there. This one says, you will forever be my always. Oh, I thought that was nice. And then the smile is that one I'm putting up there. Um, I have these sunglasses, so I want to layer those somehow up there. I've got some room for that. Uh, and then I come out with... Oop, got to get my garbage out of the way. Um, the yellow piece doesn't go on there. I thought about it, though. Um, the round piece says, be the change you want to see. And, and then I notice, I think it's about here where I notice, oh, look, all their embellishments are going down the left side of the photo. Maybe I should do that. Here are some flower stickers that are super old. And actually, they're not stickers, they're rub-ons. And they rub on rub off something amazing so I get my little tool to rub them onto the photo oh, yeah I tried my finger that wasn't gonna work um oh I just got like a little spatula there and they just peel off just stay there so nice like they're meant to be there so and I try again still tried to stay with the colors the red the pink the green um so I'll have a red and pink and white one down there and then I don't use the bright green one because it's kind of a dark green, but the green on the stem stays there. And then on the top, I'll get a white one with a 
green stem. I think some of the um, flowers had purple stems maybe. And then I'll have the orange flower on top. So those are out of my stash and I still have a couple stickers for another time. There goes the white one. And then I will go and start sticking things down. Maybe that's, maybe, so I guess I haven't just figured out yet that it's got embellishments down the left side of the photo. I will. I will eventually. So there's the banner, and then there's that green sticker banner. It was laid nicely up there, just a little extra up in the left corner where there's a bunch of white space. And this is where I'm just like, well, how should I layer this? Where should I put it? And... I often refer to the sketch just to see, you know, have I missed anything? Do I need to add more? Um, tapping my finger. And this is kind of where I figured out, ooh, it's gotta go down. it's supposed to go down the left hand side. Now, does it need to go down the left hand side? The sketch is a jumping off place. It's a it's a place to get you inspired. That's Ellie Studio stickers, and I took the black uh, photo corners. There is the black in the writing on the washi stickers, so I thought I'd just bring a little bit more black in there. And you can see that I put down that, uh, it's kind of a chevron or an arrow on the left-hand side. That uh, is something I had stamped and then just didn't use, so I threw it in my stash. Um, the I have green enamel dots, and they also go in the middle of all the flowers. And then I have that one sticker on the left corner, bottom corner of the photo there. That's like a canvas sticker. I'm not sure where I got that from, but um, perfect colors. I was just so happy to see that. So the, that went there. I think it was sitting up on my desk. Um, I kind of saw it on accident, which I love happy accidents like that. There go the, the sun, sunglasses and the title. Um, oh, and I have one last thing that I'm going to find and put on there. Otherwise, this is almost done. And it really came together pretty, pretty quickly. I just took a little time to cut out the triangular pieces. So, um, the last thing I find... Oh, those stickers I thought about using. Oh, no, I did. I used one that's a smile, and it goes over that chevron piece. It's in yellow. And the last thing I find are these puffy hearts. I should find those in, there we go. Those puffy hearts, They and I thought they would have adhesive on it. They don't. So I did just throw a little bit of my ATG on there and they stuck to per perfectly. So that's it. I wanna thank you so much for sticking with me through until the end. I hope that you have a fabulous day and I will see you again very soon for another video.